This month's plastic surgery hot topic is gynecomastia, or the development of excess breast tissue in males. It is truly estimated that 30 to 60% of American males develop enlarged breasts at some point in their lives. Due to the high potential for unreported cases, gynecomastia is often referred to as the silent disease in males. Temporary development of breast buds among males is common in infancy and at the onset of puberty. But permanent gynecomastia in males can lead to dissatisfactory body image, tenderness, pain, and even nipple discharge. Surgical intervention may often be needed. In this issue of PRS, we have two very interesting articles that take a closer look at this problem and how we approach it and correct it today. Minor cases can be treated quite easily with a small stab incision using ultrasound assisted liposuction to help reshape and reduce the breast tissue and mound. There are also surgical solutions for more extreme cases such as in the massive weight loss patients that include a new procedure that's discussed in the first manuscript. These surgeons use a boomerang shaped incision across the nipple or realer area to simultaneously correct the gynecomastia and to remove the extra torso skin. This is an ideas and innovation study that was looked at in 24 patients that underwent this technique. They found that this method could be safely combined with other torsoplasties or other body massive weight loss procedures to yield excellent aesthetic results with a high rate of satisfaction for both the patient and the surgeon. Of course, further study is needed to make definitive conclusions in another population. Although you may associate this condition with being overweight or obese, this is most frequently not the case. The next study looks at gynecomastia in amateur and professional bodybuilders with a good physique. In bodybuilders, the development of breasts are often the result of anabolic steroid use for ex uh, or excess consumption of over-the-counter hormone supplements, which are commonly used in bodybuilders. Over 1,500 bodybuilders underwent surgical treatment for gynecomastia from 1980 to 2013. This team of authors followed them for up to five years. Using a patient satisfaction survey, they discovered that 98% of these patients were actually pleased with their results. They had no contour deformities, no infections, and no recurrences. The authors conclude that bodybuilders are a challenging surgical population due to their increased muscularity and vascularity, but with someone, a plastic surgeon, experienced in the management of these athletic patients, the outcomes can be very positive. Bodybuilders or not, please visit plasticsurgery.org. If you have gynecomastia and you're interested in talking to a board-certified plastic surgeon about the options, these two papers show that the surgical management of gynecomastia can improve the, both the aesthetic part of their contour, but also their lives. Board-certified plastic surgeons all around the globe are constantly studying and refining these surgical techniques to create the most effective and safest procedures possible for the patients. Subscribe to PRS channel or visit prsjournal.com for the most up-to-date information on all hot topics related to cosmetic and plastic surgery.